Welcome everyone to this week's episode. We are sailing the Whit Sundays. It is absolutely glorious. I mean, you can't get any better than this, I don't think. Blue sky, nice little breeze pushing us down the coast. Beautiful view. And this boat sails super well. Like we've, we're up to eight knots without any problems whatsoever with the tide against us. It's just such a joy to be out here. It's amazing. Gorgeous morning. Perfect, perfect morning on the water. the sail up while we're um, actually attached to the mooring ball because we're facing into the wind it's a little bit easier sometimes it just gets it done so now we're just going to drop the sh drop the stop <laughs> find that really hard to say and get sailing oh what a beautiful day it's gonna be a great morning sailing up the coast can't wait you ready As the strong prevailing southeasterly winds abated and we moved into the proper sailing season, the weather improved markedly. We didn't mind the more challenging conditions as they allowed us to thoroughly test the boat out, but there's no doubt that the more benign weather certainly made sailing much more enjoyable. As we made our way out of the anchorage with the sails up and the wind pushing us along the water, we felt so much satisfaction and joy that we were lucky enough to be able to spend this time on board in the stunning Whitsunday Islands. That's lovely. We don't know what the wind speed is because we don't have an anemometer. However, we're doing three and a half knots with a knot uh, of current against us actually. So the boat speed is 4.4 and our speed over ground is 3.5. So not bad. Beautiful morning for a sail. Love it. Okay. This time sailing a catamaran in the Whit Sundays was really helpful in the transition from monohull to catamaran. With Ruby Rose 2 being built as we speak, we still had time to make some decisions on specifications based on our experiences sailing the two different 1260s. For example, we realized how important it was to keep the boat light in order to get the best performance and the best sailing experience. So we made some changes to the specifications to keep our weight low. Mainly though, the experience sailing catamarans in Australia has only reaffirmed to us that we have definitely made the right decision to buy a catamaran for our future sailing adventures. The performance, the comfort underway and the ease of living is amazing and we can't wait for Ruby Rose 2. And if you feel the same way, then subscribe to our channel for regular build updates. So today we are going to the northern part of Cook Island. Um, in the wet Sundays here. I'm not quite sure where we're going to end up. There's a couple of really beautiful bays. Butterfly Bay is the most popular. We've not been there yet. And there's also another bay called Luncheon Bay, um, which we might check out. It really just depends on kind of how busy it is when we get there. And I don't know, just what we feel like doing. So, we're still a couple of hours away. There's nothing better than having a nice cup of tea while sailing. 
We're just about to go around the point. I think it's called Pelican Point, and uh, the winds just come right from behind us. It's actually picked up quite a bit. Uh, I reckon looking at the white cuts, it's probably about, I don't know, 15? Yeah, calm sea state. Uh, some white caps behind me that you can probably see. We're going dead downwind at the moment, so we've just put the engine on and uh, we'll go around this point and they will be basically in Butterfly Bay. I'm excited. Go somewhere we've never been to before, check it out. The northern side of Hook Island was dotted with little bays and coves, making for some beautiful scenery as we made our way to Butterfly Bay. Butterfly Bay is so named because it's made up of two bays next to each other, which kind of look like the wings of a butterfly. During high winds, it's renowned for the wind bullets that come down from the surrounding mountains. But on a calm day like today, we suspect the conditions inside the bay would be calm and serene. Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, it is pretty bloody sweet. Honestly, amazing. Yeah. Amazing. 360 cameras photo bombing my shot. <laughs> it's got prime position that 360 at the moment. It's just like bobbing along. Well, I think it's fair to say that this is one of the most beautiful places that we've been to in uh, in Australia, in for the sure. World. Yeah, probably in the world. I mean, it is absolutely stunning. It doesn't hurt that the weather is spectacular today, and we're going to take advantage and uh, go for a snorkel. So, if those beeps you can hear in the background, you're wondering what they were. That's the GoPro. That's the next pacemaker. <laughs> and uh, I can't wait to get in the water. I'll be happy just to get in the water and just. I don't know, have a little splash. Um, if we have some good snorkeling, then that will be a bonus as far as I'm concerned. So grab our GoPros, pop our sexy stinger suits on and uh, get in that water. I feel like I've kind of lost trust with uh, you flying that drone near me, Nick. The other hit you. Hey? Hit you. <laughs> you came bloody close the other day. Yeah, but I never did. Oh, jeez. You that was that was pure luck. It wasn't pure luck. At Whitehaven, yeah. that was pure luck. I saw my life flush before my eyes. It came within like an inch of my head. So excuse me, fun. <laughs> I kind of get a little bit nervous when you're flying the drone near my head. Anyway, this is a very, very beautiful beach that we've stumbled across. I'm slightly concerned. The tide is falling and we did go through some fairly shallow bombies. little bombies on the way in. So I'm a bit worried about getting out, although I'm sure it's fine. We've only been here like half an hour. And now I want to go and check out um, this little snorkel spot. Um, near the headland and you can tell it's a snorkel spot because there's a day boat there with like dozens of snorkelers out on a day trip so I'm hoping that by the time we meander over there they'll be packing up and ready to go. I have to say this is just one of the most beautiful anchorages slash harbours slash bays that we've been in. 
It is absolutely stunning. And what a spectacular day. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It was the perfect day for a swim and a snorkel, but I must admit that I wasn't sure what we'd find underwater. As you can see, there was plenty of evidence of the damage that Cyclone Debbie did in 2017, with the shallower coral heads showing the most damage. We were told by local divers that the deeper corals were in better shape and we could see for ourselves some signs of rejuvenation. Let's hope that the recovery of our beautiful coral reefs continues. drone today. Yeah, well, that's a step up, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> didn't lose a drone, didn't lose half your finger. <laughs> Every day be better. <laughs> I only got the one bruise today, so that's not too bad. No, I had a good day actually. We had a nice. nice, really nice sail this morning. I'm glad we got off a bit early because um, the wind kind of picked up a little bit. Not that that's a problem, mm. but it was really nice to sail. You know, those kind of calm conditions this morning. Yeah. And then we've had some nice snorkeling this afternoon. Snorkeling. Snorkel, 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 snorkel <laughs> Can I just say that we have sailed most of Europe, we've sailed just about all the Caribbean. We have sailed Tahiti with Nikki and Jason. This is the only place I've ever been where there's no internet and no TV. Yeah, I know. And we're like 10 miles to the mainland. Yeah, there's literally there's no internet signal, no TV signal, no nothing. There's even radio. I can't even get radio <laughs> signal here. Well, VHF, but you know, you can't get like commercial radios. No. I mean, they are national parks, so I guess they're not, there's not supposed to be any infrastructure. But um, yeah, look, Australia's a bit backward. Our infrastructure is a bit rubbish, particularly when it comes to the internet. Oh, yeah. Don't ask any Australian about the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> this week's episode um we will be back next week drinking beer and not bickering about the internet <laughs> start again <laughs> <laughs> all right everyone this is like take 30 we've been sitting here for several minutes trying to get this right thanks for watching everyone <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this episode listen thank you so much for watching um if you enjoyed it give us a thumbs up if you didn't like it give us a thumbs up we will be back next week with a brand new episode we will. In the Wind Sundays. <laughs> <Thanks>. Definitely. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you did, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you again next week with another episode. So take care of yourselves. Goodbye.